Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest 2.7.2. We are here with the Starry Skies pack today and yes I am aware I messed up yesterday on our very fancy new overlays that I am trying out on the videos and I put the Stormy Skies pack but I reassure you guys we are with the Starry Skies pack with our Air Kuma and his brand new bait Willow as these two have just arrived to the Creek Valley and they are getting ready to look for their very first den site. And Kuma, he isn't even hesitating. He is going to head straight towards his traditional family den, the Saddle Meadows den that they have always lived at. That's where he grew up. That's where he knows the bears need to be fought. Kuma is one of those wolves where instead of running away from bears, oh, look at the shadows. That's so cool. Instead of running away from the bears, he wants to take them head on and he doesn't know that that's going to earn him a lot of ancestor blessings, but it totally is. Look at Willow. She's like trotting ahead. I think she's ready to start getting used to this area. And we will try to let these two do a little bit of winter hunting today because they have no experience at all. Look at that! Look at that! 1,400 experience points! Willow! You two, they're like brand new teenagers or something. They're just totally inexperienced young wolves tripping over each other. Oh, there's a coyote! Oh my goodness, what's this coyote doing here? Well, we might give him a little chase. Hey you, do you know where the elk are? Are you gonna show us where the elk are, huh? Nope, he's just gonna veer that way. All right, did we run across the elk over here? No, all right, let's keep looking for him. But they are totally inexperienced, they're young, they really need to start roaming around, uh, learning how to hunt together, maybe getting a little bit more experience points before we, we launch into having a litter. But we're going to say that Spirit is actually waiting for them up at the den. So he is already settled in, he's good to go. He's ready to start helping to take care of the pack. So Spirit is our companion wolf. He's our cousin and he, we won't ever see him, but we know he's there for the sake of the story. And to, just to remind you guys, we now have some very fancy documentation that I am doing my best to keep updated. Oh, 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 oh. There are the elk. All right, let's chase some towards the summer hunting ground. All right, let's get some stamina. And let's see, am I downwind? Let's get downwind. And then let's go and see if we can chase down a couple elk because we are going to need the elk for the the spring, you guys. Thankfully, the ravens won't show up to eat the elk during the daytime or during like our run to the summer hunting ground with our future wolf pups because the ravens only come out in the daytime. So as long as we're under the sorrow of the storms effect where it's always going to be night until we break the curse of the sorrow of the storms. And it, I really hesitate to call it a curse. All right, all right, that one's a really weak one. She's taken off. All right, we're gonna see if we can get any closer to her. Is that as close as I can get? Oh, 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 oh. That was really good. No, you were supposed to launch after her. What were you doing, Kuma? See, he's still got to learn how to hunt. Trying to learn how to hunt with him is definitely tricky. Holy moly. Hey, hey, nip, nipper, nipper. Come on, you can do it. Oh my gosh, look at that. Man, no, don't get her in the water. Don't get her in the water. Oh no, I think we're about to lose the elk. If I howl, nope, I can't howl in the water. Oh man, no, Willow, don't bite her. Oh wait, you Willow, bite her, bite her. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, man. When these two really figure out how to work together, they really take down elk very, very quickly. But yes. Uh, da -da -da -da. All right, there we go. As I was saying, we are under the Sorrow of the Storms effect. If you guys don't know what that is, you can watch the previous episodes and you can click on the very nifty little documentation link down in the video description and that will take you to our WolfQuest page, our WolfQuest library, where I will start building up not only a lineage chart and kind of a summary of what's going on in the current pack and the current letter, but hopefully a vocabulary page. So if you guys are like, what the heck's an ancestor blessing? What the heck's a wolf? <laughs> if you don't know what a wolf is. I can go and have the definition of a wolf or a cougar or a coyote written up for you guys in the future. They're not there right now, but those kinds of things will be added in and they might be added in by the time you guys watch this. So be sure to check that frequently for lots of updates and don't be shy. Feel free to send in your fan art, fan mail, leave fan fictions or comments in the video, or in, not in the video description. That's my territory. Ah, I, and thankfully I don't have to pee on it the way the wolves do. But anyway, <laughs> Feel free to leave comments with those things because I am now taking those kinds of comments and putting them into the WolfQuest library so that they will be saved for all time. All right, now you guys are you guys are you guys are really wonderful and all. Look at them. She's no, what are you doing? What are you doing? She's just walking straight up to us. 
we're trying to figure out which one of these is like the weaker elk. And they're all looking actually quite robust and healthy. Ladies, you're all looking very healthy today. Aha! There's the one who's not feeling our best. So let's get a little bit, ow, don't kick my mate. We'll get a little bit closer to her. And then we will go and run at her in just a second here and go. Oh, that actually worked that time. And then we can give her like a really good bite on the rump and we'll try to turn her and chase her towards the summer hunting grounds. All right, let's see if we can, come on, come on. Okay, I'm gonna have to give it a good howl because we've got to stop Willow from chasing her. And then we need to get her across the river. Ah, but that's what I was trying to explain before I got sidetracked thinking about our amazing wolf library where you can find all sorts of facts, a family tree, all sorts of details on what's going on. All right, come on, get up there, get up there. Get on the other side of the river. Until she gets on the other side of the river, we can risk losing her. The elk can actually, if you kill them in the water, man, this must be ice cold water too, but if you kill the elk in the water, then they just get washed away by the river and you lose your kill. Oh my gosh, this is very difficult. We're going for a very icy swim. Kuma, I don't think this is a good thing. All right, let's see if we can get over to the other side and climb out. Can we get out of the water? We can get out of the water. She's just maybe not the brightest elk. And Willow is like determined to get her. All right, nope, 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 let's turn you. This is really getting to be much longer of a hunt than I anticipated. All right, let's shake off and try again. Come on, Miss Elk, there we go. That was more like it. Now she's figuring out how to get out of the water. Much better. All right, let's see if we can keep chasing her this way. There we go, all right. And yes, it is actually super important to take the time to do this winter hunting, you guys. I know some people are like, why? Why the winter hunts? They're so boring. I want to see babies. Kuma, everybody is pushing for you to like just pop out some puppies. Who cares about your development and your story and your experience? Everyone just wants to see your puppies, Kuma. Sorry about that, buddy. But this is going to be very important because they rolled a bring it on year. So, well, and that was winter actually because we are changing it from year to year, aren't we? I forgot how we're changing it between seasons, I meant, not year to year. All right, let's go ahead and eat up a little bit, Willow. I, I think we killed this elk kind of a far distance away from anywhere useful, but at least it's there now. At least we have some food over there. If nothing else, maybe the cougars will go eat that instead of our wolf pups. All right, let's go see if we can find, oh my gosh, there they are. There's the elk still. We might go sniff up and see if we can find a bear or two up around the den site and see how Spirit is pulling off the den. And I just, I, I just picture Spirit like cleaning the den out right now, like kind of maybe cheerfully, maybe grumpily grousing to himself and tidying things up over there. But yeah, they did roll a bring it on year for winter, which makes winter more difficult. But I forgot how we are rolling once again when it hits spring. And then once again, after we have uh, the puppies leave for the summer hunting grounds, I forgot how we're changing it from uh, season to season now. So they may have a very hard year. Kuma's curse, like Kuma's um, handicap, I should say, is that because he's able to have so many ancestor blessings by chasing off bears, he does have to play on more difficult years. So if we roll like a, a pretty easy year, he has to play on challenging. He has to play on one level difficulty higher than what his roll was. All right, but enough dilly-dallying about that. There, they took that elk out in no time. <laughs> Maybe it's better just to go for the stronger elk with these two. See, we're learning really, really important things by doing this extra little bit of hunting. Oh geez, that one's like, nope. Nope, she just wants to get out of here. All right, well, we'll go ahead and can I grab her and grab, 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 Kuma, don't let go, Kuma, don't let go, he let go. <laughs> oh, he got, he got a little too excited. We'll see if we can chase her over towards the den. So yeah, I forgot how we're rolling from year to year, so don't mind me. I was just kind of muttering to myself then. All right, let's see if we can take her down. Ah, but the thing I was going to tell you guys, today you guys are voting on something very special because someone had a very, very, very interesting idea in comments. And I want to know what you guys think about this idea too. Someone had the idea of making it so different ancestors of the wolves could potentially be reborn into the pack now that it has been a while. And they came up with that idea because they proposed that Basil have another shot at life. And if Basil 
is reborn into the pack, then the Stormy Skies pack wouldn't be so sad and we could break the curse that way. And I thought that sounded like a great idea and actually sounded like a really great idea. Come on, Kuma. No, Kuma. Move, Kuma. <laughs> that elk is like really wounded and Kuma just has no, no stamina. So we're going to rest for just a second. He really does just have to sit and catch his breath for a moment. All right, let's see if we can get our nice chasing her towards the future den. Good job, Kuma. Man, he really does kind of come down like a bear when he starts biting. There, sweet. They're doing a much better job hunting now. I feel much better about this. I want to kill at least one or two more elk before we, we move on. But that's because I have to tell you guys about this anyway. Sorry I'm getting so distracted. It's hard work hunting and talking at the same time. But uh, there was the idea that Basil could potentially be reborn into the pack. And I actually really, really fell in love with that idea. So here's what we're going to do, you guys. You guys, as the Wolf Quest ancestors, and let's just playfully bow with, with Willow here. But you guys, as the Wolf Quest ancestors watching from the skies above, are going to have another vote. And you're going to vote on what special spirit to send down. Oh, geez, there we go. Um, what special wolf pup spirit to send down to the next litter. So what I have set up is there are five different options for which wolf to send down to the next litter. And one of those five options is Basil. So Basil does have the potential of being reborn and you guys need to vote and you guys are going to have the capability of deciding if Basil is going to be reborn or not and break the curse. But there are four other options, one of which is completely new spirits, spirits that like none of the wolves have ever seen before. And basically like completely uh, new names, they wouldn't have anything super special about them. And three of the other options would be special wolves. So wolves who would have a special ability, like maybe a wolf who had a special name and a special ability to potentially hunt rabbits. So basically you guys are getting the opportunity to have at least one of the wolf pups born and they don't have to become the future heir, but at least one of the wolf pups born. Wow, we've almost taken out all these, all these elk. I'm kind of tempted to try killing the bull elk to be completely honest. But yeah, okay, what I'm trying to say, I'm so sorry, I'm being confusing. You're gonna vote on which wolf pup spirits get sent down to the next litter. And in those, in that litter of wolf pup spirits, there is the option for some of them to be born with special abilities, such as being able to hunt down rabbits and get ancestor blessings, or being able to chase away eagles and get ancestor blessings. Should those wolves be the heir? Maybe, maybe not. You guys may end up voting on a different kind of heir than the one with the special abilities, but it does add a little bit of a twist to things to also have the option, look at this poor lonely bull elk, to also have the option for the past spirits of the wolves to be reborn again. And I think that would be kind of fun. And you don't know in the future. Oh my gosh. Don't hurt my mate. Okay, now let's come over here and get some food. I want to take him out. We're going to get him. We're going to get him, you guys. I'm super excited about this, actually. We're going to see if we can hunt down the bull elk. Get all the experience from that. All right, and our mate is going off. Willow's going off to do that. And then... Let's see. All right, and let's run for it. Ah, oh, this is gonna take a little bit. Maybe I should change my mind? <laughs> I don't know, we're already committed and if we can get him running, then there's a good chance we can pull this off. But yeah, so special spirits, that's what you guys are voting on. The opportunity just for normal wolf pups to be born because I know that people get a little bit frustrated if we deviate too far. Oh, he's running for it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we're gonna get him, we're gonna get him, we're gonna get him. This is gonna be awesome. I know people get frustrated if we deviate too far away from um, making things super normal. <laughs> but after 200 episodes, I, I do have to kind of jazz it up in some ways for myself, if nothing else. All right, let's chase him this way. We're gonna get this bull elk. And Kuma's gonna be the first one of the Starry Skies pack to actually hunt down a bull elk. That's gonna be pretty interesting. All right, look at the bull elk wiggle. All right, buddy. Oh, that definitely popped him out of the water. All right. Well, we might have to look at <laughs> look at Willow give us the support from the back. Dun 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 dun. So basically, you guys are voting on which wolf pup spirits to send down and which wolf pup spirits we're going to be working with. Um, and some of them may be totally normal. Some of them may have special abilities. And just because they have special abilities doesn't mean we have to end up picking them as the wolves that we want to go for. It doesn't mean. Let's see. 
that you have to like them. It's just an extra little perk to add a twist to the story. And especially, I would say that's because the Wolf Quest ancestors have become strong enough to be able to do something like that too. All right, can I get this guy? I wanna get this guy. But the problem is, he's really kicked us several times. Oh gosh. Oh my dear. Oh dear. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, Willow. I don't know about this hunt, Willow. I'm beginning, I'm beginning to have my doubts. I think the bull elk is going to be weakened, but we have no food over here, Willow. The carcass would be really far away, but at least we would have the fame of killing him, I suppose. So yes, I am sorry, you guys. I probably made absolutely no sense because I was so distracted with the winter hunting this time. But Willow and Kuma are getting quite a bit better at doing the hunts. And this is actually near the place where everybody's always, oh, fudge. You know what? That's not fair. I still, I still have help. <laughs> there goes the ancestor blessing. Whoops. All right. Well, that'll teach me. I, Kuma still had a, a whole kick left, so I think that's unfair. That'll teach me to try to do that. We won't do that again. We're going to have to use up an ancestor blessing on Kuma to bring him back. So now we only have three. Whoops. And then we will move on and settle into our den and hopefully have some beautiful puppies. And you guys will decide on which spirits to send down to those puppies in the straw poll in the video description below. So be sure to do that. And I promise that I will collect my thoughts and not be so distractible next time. And I will see you guys then. Bye-bye.